In this video, we continue our implementation of binary addition. In the previous video, we implemented the first part of the design, performing bitwise addition. This was achieved using a half adder, which produces a sum and a carry out. The half adder can be used to add corresponding bits starting with the least significant bit. We now need to consider what to do when a carry is generated. In the case of a carry, there are two things that need to be done. First, the carry needs to be propagated to the next highest significant bit. Second, now considered as a carry in, it must be included in the next stage of bitwise addition. The modified algorithm for binary addition is thus as follows. First, we must once more perform bitwise addition, but along with the carry in. Second, the carry out must now be propagated as the next carry in. We will consider the first of these modifications. Performing bitwise addition with the carry in now means that we have to add three single bit numbers. The device for performing this is called a full adder. The rules for the addition of three single bit numbers are as follows. The sum of three zeros is zero. If one of the numbers is one, the sum is one. If two of the numbers are one, then the sum is one zero, read as zero carry one. And if all three numbers are one, the result is one one read as 1 carry 1. As you might expect, the full adder can be implemented by cascading two half adders. This can be verified by looking at all possible input combinations. In brief, we note that the sum output of the second half adder always corresponds to the required sum. Also, the required carry out is obtained if the carry out of either of the half adders is equal to 1. This means that the full adder can be obtained by cascading two half adders by combining their carry outs through an OR gate. We now address how to propagate the carry out. For simplicity, we will illustrate this using 2-bit operands. Because the algorithm begins with the least significant bit and then propagates towards the most significant bit, we place the least significant bit on the left. Thus, as we saw in earlier videos on binary counters, all numbers in the adder must be read from right to left. We see that the carry is propagated by feeding the carry out of one full adder to the carry in of the next full adder. This is the 2-bit adder seen as a single device. There is an overall carry out that indicates whether a carry has been generated by the most significant bit. There is also an overall carry in. This carry in is added to the least significant bits. This can be used to propagate a previous carry out when adders are cascaded. We will see a further use of this carry in when we consider binary subtraction. As a final note, the adder can be applied to any number representation that follows the binary counting sequence. In this example, the same binary sum produces the correct answer in both unsigned integer and two's complement representation. In either representation, the correct answer will always be obtained so long as the answer falls within the valid range of values. In this example, using 4-bit unsigned integer representation, the wrong answer is obtained. This is because 4-bit unsigned integer representation 
does not support the true arithmetic result. From the previous videos on binary numbers, we saw that this is called an overflow error. In general, for the unsigned integer representation, the generation of a carry out acts as a flag for an overflow error. Note, however, that this is not the case for two's complement representation. For two's complement representation, a carry out is often generated when a correct result is obtained. In these cases, the carry out is simply ignored.